That's dope. Uh, you know, Serge, I, I want to talk to you, and I've never really heard you talk about this in interviews. Um, Mark Echo, Echo Unlimited, the clothing line. You were a big part of launching that brand. How, how did you and Mark Echo even meet? So I, as soon as I left Wild Pitch, the last group that I wanted to sign was these two brothers in Brooklyn. This one kid named Necro and this another kid named Ill Bill. I'd seen them at, at jams and I, I just, they, they were just crazy. And by the time I met with them, Bill and Necro didn't want to do anything together. But Ill Bill had all these homeboys. And then I had my homeboy, Sabak Red, who was my, uh, my hype man and my MC partner when I was sober. So I said, yo, let's put a group together. Let's form a, like a white super group called Nonfiction. And um, so we signed the Geffen at Nonfiction. And Bill's dad had a really dope clothing store right on the corner of Broadway and Hudson Street in New York. And I was seeing all these graffiti shirts with the Echo joints on them. And Ill Bill said to me, yeah, 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 that's this kid, Mark Echo. He's a graffiti artist. He's like, yo, every time we can't keep his shirts in the store. Every time he sells them, they move every time. He's like, yo, you should talk to a dude. Like, supposedly he's expanding his brand. He needs help. So I went to see them in Jersey. And then I went to see them again at their office in New York. And they were just starting their line. And I met Mark and Mark, like you said, he was doing graffiti shirts in his in his, uh, his house and he had his first line, very first line. And he was about to take it to market. And he asked me if I could help. And I was like, yeah, of course I can help. I'm like, of course. And I brought that clothing to my friend, Emil Wilberkin at Vibe, who was the editor in chief at Vibe at the time. And he lost his mind and did a whole spread on the line, like as he's the next new. And on that, this was really important. It was an important lesson about the box. And not the box, the video thing, but the box that people like to peg us in. Oh, Sean Prez, he's a radio promotion guy. That's how I know him. I know him from Bad Boy. No one knows that you managed Puff. No one knows about PMI. No one knows about the Wyden Kennedy things you've done. Walter Isaacson creating street events for T-Mobile, Global Spin Award, you know, DJ Khan. They just see the box. Sean Perez, right. executive at Bad Boy. So when I said, oh, yo, I had big news. Came to Mark, yo, they're going to do a whole spread about you being the next big urban designer, street designer. He said, nope, nope, I don't want to do it. I said, what do you mean? I know. I will not allow them to call me an urban designer. I will not let them call me a street designer. I'm an American design house. Echo Unlimited is an American design house. Okay. <laughs> how, old, how old is Mark at this time? 26. I'm 26. Six. American and design. he's just starting his line. Not only that, he said to me, he goes, Search, at 29, I will be the youngest member to sit on the board of the, the International Design. There's like this board that Donna Coran sits on, Ralph Lauren, Calvin Klein. I forget what it's called, the International Academy of Designers and something. I forget. He goes, but I'm going to be the youngest person at 29. Three years from now, I'm going to be on that dais. Bro, 29, Calvin Klein and Ralph Lauren walked them to that dais. Wow. 29. He said, I'm an American design house. I will not be put in a box. They will not label me. I am the unlabel. And I went to Emil and I said, Emil, if you're going to do the piece, you can't call him a street designer. You can't call him an urban designer. He wants to be known as an American design house. And Emil looked back and he said, that's dope. Cause I thought there was going to be pushback and like, we should be thankful to even be in the build. That first article with the echo spread and vibe, there was six pages of American design, huh? American design. And that's how we, and that's how he set 
the bar, even though we did everything hip hop. I had Angie, Angie still to this day, whenever she sees me, gives me grief because we shot a photo shoot of her in Echo clothes and I shot her toes and her toes did not have toenail polish. And she <laughs> gets on me to this day. The only person search, only person see them dogs without them nail polish. <laughs> she was hot. But anyway, but everything we did, even though it was street culture, then we went, we were the first brand to cross into, you know, X games. And like, he had such a vision, light years ahead of anyone, light years ahead of anyone, still to this day, light years ahead of anyone. Um, and uh, it was just such a pleasure building that company. You know, we went from 1.5 million in 95, 96, we were at 1.3 billion when I left at 2000. 1.3 billion dollars in sales a year. What, what was your role at the company, Search? Marketing and promotion. So I was in charge of artist integration, artist relationships, uh, artist campaigns. There were two big shows we would do a year. There was the show in Vegas and ASR in San Diego. I was responsible for getting the talent. I was responsible for all the parties. I want to, I want to share a funny story with you. Cause I was, I was waiting for you to talk about this. So we would have to go to Vegas every six months. I just want to FYI say that I finally told my wife the truth about this now 30 some odd years later. So we're just starting to really expand. And there were three people that were at the top tier of the company. There was Mark, there was Marcy and a guy named Seth. Seth was the businessman behind the business. And we have all these people come into the booth and there's a lot of excitement, but there's a lot of like, maybe we'll take, maybe yeah, Bloomingdale's, maybe, maybe on the fence. Seth hands me a black card and says, I don't care what you do, search. I don't care what you do, but you better go do promo. Whatever the, whatever the F you do, these guys better come back the next day and buy. <laughs> It's the wrong thing to tell a promo, man, but go ahead. Oh my God. And, and by the way, the only thing I know about promo is what I learned in radio promo, which you're now going to know. Yep. I ran into a cab and I jump in a cab and a guy says, where to? And I said, I want you to take me to the best strip club in Vegas. And he takes me to Crazy Horse 2. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. It's 11 o'clock. It's, there's nobody there. I knock on the door. General manager opens up. He goes, nah, search. What the fuck? MC search? Yo, we're not even open yet. There's no, there's no women here. I said, no, I came to see you. Come on in. I said, look, I'm going to, I'm dropping this black card. I want you to open up an account. Here's the black card. I'm going to be sending people. Search sent me. Whatever. Whoever says search sent me, you take good care of them. What do you mean? You know what I mean. I don't want them coming out of here dry. You do and you do and do and do. He said, you sure? Absolutely. People are just going to come and say search sent me. And I want them in the back. And you just, I don't want to know nothing, but you just do. I go back. Seth says, took care of it? Took care of it. Soka. So now I'm walking around the room. Oh, this is the head buyer in Bloomingdale's. Oh, cool. Hey, what's up, man? Search. I do promotion. Look, here's this card. Go see this guy. Tell him search sent you. Head buyer Macy's. Oh, no, no. Head buyer this one, this one, this one. Oh. Really? Yep. You go to Crazy Horse too. You tell him search sent you. Have a great time, but then come back here and order. Next day, 45 million in orders. Woo! 45 million. Seth's like, what the, what did you do? I said, you don't want to know nothing. Just sign the Amex. Every month, just sign the Amex. That's all I need you to do. Crazy. Every show in Vegas. People like, can I, I was like, yep, you go, just come back and order. Just come back and order. <laughs> people don't know what the fuck we're doing. They just know that people are like, eh, next day. Yeah, we'll do 7 million in order. We'll do rocket ship. I leave the company. 
This is 2000. I leave the company. I'm in Detroit at radio. Mark calls me. Yo, what up, man? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, um, question. Do you still have the black card? What black card? The black card from the company. I never had a black card. Search. You had a black card. Like, I'm like, no, I never. It was Seth's. Wait a minute. Hold on. So you never closed the account? <laughs> what are you talking about? Search, I just got a $150,000 bill from the crazy horse too. I said, wait, what? He said, yeah, I just got a $150,000 bill. People are still going saying, search sent me. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like 10 years later, he's like, yeah, people are going saying, search sent me. I've been paying for whatever was going on in there for 10 years. <laughs> What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.